No Time to Die was released in September 2021. It's Daniel Craig's last time in the role of James Bond. The film was successful bringing in over $700 million at the box office and No Time to Die will be the first for the series for four major points. It is the first film to be delayed by a pandemic with its original release date being of April 2020. It goes down as the longest Bond film running at 2 hours and 43 minutes beating out Spectre's 2 hours and 28 minute runtime. It also includes 007 being a female agent instead of Bond himself and then finally killing off the main character of James Bond. Where does the Bond franchise go from here? With MGM being brought out by Amazon in 2022, it is very likely to be in safe hands and to be rebooted within the next few years. There are many rumoured actors to be the next James Bond and that will always be the question even when the current actor is in the role. Personally, I'm hoping for a younger Bond that has just gone into the surface and gains double O status by the end of the movie, very similar to the Casino Royale beginning. However, we do know that the search will start within the next couple of years and the release will probably be the longest gap to date with the current title holders of Golden Knight and No Time to Die with six years since the previous instalment. For now, the Bond series is in a good place and it has just over 60 years of history for us to enjoy and get excited for new projects to come. Considering Bond was born in 1953 in Casino Royale, he has come a long way in the 65 years he has been around and has overcome many things. The series has managed to survive the change of actor, which in some films makes the film fall to pieces and the series fail. But Bond has managed to have six actors play one role over an extended period of time and for some reason it has brought something to the series that it would not have done for any other series. It has managed to cope with the rise in cinema violence in the 1970s and openly compete with the films. It has also managed to survive due to the fact that it adapts itself to current culture and keeps itself in the loop of current trends. It is also one of the top grossing film franchises of all time. Despite the fact that MGM had to file for bankruptcy, the Bond series is now safe after being bought out by Sony Pictures. We can now expect more from the Bond series in the years to come and the lead roles going with a different actor after Daniel Craig. If the past is anything to go by, it will have its ups and downs, its good films and its superbly brilliant films that have the wow factor. Because no matter what kind of competition is thrown at the Bond producers as a film series... You have a nasty habit of surviving. 